Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That says it all. That's one of these um, very, very inclusive statements. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. Wow. The way. The same word as highway, the road, if you will. The highway to heaven, literally, by the way. It shows up seven times, not only here in John, but all through the book of Acts. The way. Being a Christian is what we speak. In those days, they said they knew the way. They spoke of the way as the thing that they were following, following Christ. And uh, this whole phrase speaks of the exclusiveness of Christ. He's the, he, not only is he the way, he's the only way. Acts 4.12 makes that very, very crisp and clear. Also in Gethsemane, three times he's going to pray when we get there shortly. He's going to pray three times. If there be any other way, let's take it, Father. If there's any other way to get to heaven than through Christ, then his prayer was not answered in Gethsemane because he asked to be off the hook if there was any other way. And by the way, it's interesting. The word zodiac or the constellations of the heavens comes from the Sanskrit word sodi, which means the way. And the Maseroth in the Hebrew... From the, lion, from the virgin birth all the way to the lion of the tribe of Judah, uh, these 12 constellations speak of the plan of God. So I encourage you. Psalm 19 opens that door, and you can, you can uh, study that. If you haven't looked at that, I encourage you to dig into it. I am the way and the truth and the life. The truth. The spirit of truth had yet not been given. It's going to be given, and John's going to talk more about that when you get to chapter 16. In fact, Pilate puts his finger on the core issue, even though he asks the question sort of rhetorically and as a, as a cynical gesture, what is truth? And we'll encounter that in effect tomorrow morning when we get through the Gethsemane part of it. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the best analogy I can think of here is the prodigal son when he is restored. He was dead, but now is alive again, is the expression there in Luke 15 and elsewhere. Adam, before sin, enjoyed communion with his maker. He knew him, and he possessed spiritual life. But in the day that thou eatest, he would surely die. Adam had then, from that point on, a threefold need for reconciliation, for illumination, and for regeneration. And that's what's being produced here by God himself, taking, stepping into Adam's shoes, in effect. 